so this ragdoll module is for both R6 and R15. Um, it has good physics and all of that. It's very customizable. You can change the constraints however you like. Um, and there's also like very little jittering. There's very uh, small cases where um, your limbs will start to jitter. So that's a good thing. It does take a little bit of scripting though, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. All right, so let's make this ragdoll system. So first we're going to need the ragdoll module. So I'm going to take that and put that into server storage. You can put it into server storage or replicated storage. I just like it in server storage. Um, now I'm going to make a server script and I'm also going to make a local script and starter player scripts. And I'm also going to need a callback and replicated storage. So I'm going to get a remote function in there and I'm going to call that ragdoll callback. Okay. In this server script, we're going to need the player service, the server storage and the replicated storage. So let's get those. Okay, so we need to require the ragdoll module, get the ragdoll callback, and store a ragdoll duration. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the callback function for the ragdoll uh, remote function, we're going to check if they have a character. If not, we're going to return false. And then we're going to check if they can ragdoll. So if they're already being ragdolled, we're going to return false. But if they can ragdoll, then we're going to ragdoll them and then uh, make a delay of that ragdoll duration and then unragdoll them when that timer runs out. So here's what that looks like. Okay, so we have our callback function on server invo. Now we need to make um, two connections, one for the player added connection for every player, and then for the character added whenever they spawn in, we're gonna need to uh, grab the humanoid and turn off the requires neck property and the brink joints on death properties. You're gonna need to set those to false. And then we're also gonna need to set up another connection on died. Um, we're all we're only going to need to connect it once. So on the died, uh, once the humanoid dies, we're going to check if they are ragdolled. And if not, we are going to ragdoll them. So here's what that is going to be. Okay, so that is it for the server script. Now we're going to move over into the local script and set that up. So for this, we're also going to need the player service and the replicated storage, but we're also going to need the context action service for our input. So let's get those. Now we're going to need the local player. We're going to need the ragdoll callback and we're also going to store the key that we're going to use to activate our ragdoll. So let's get those. Okay, now we're going to need to make a, um, a function for handling the input. So I'm going to just call this handle ragdoll input. And what this is going to do, it's going to um, it's going to check if we pressed the ragdoll key, in this case the R button. It's going to check if uh, we press that key, then it's going to invoke the server and check if we can ragdoll. 
and if we can we're going to change our local humanoid state to the physics state and then delay for the duration and then change it back to getting up to the getting up state so here's what that looks like So we have our function for handling our ragdoll input. Now we just need to bind that with the context action service. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, that's it for the client side. So now uh, we can test this out. I've been, uh, I'm just gonna insert a few parts just for physics sake and see you guys back in a sec so I'm back um, just put in two parts just put in a corner wedge and a wedge part so let's test this out um, right now I'm in the R6 version so we're gonna be looking at how the R6 ragdoll works I'm just gonna go to the top of this corner wedge part here and just jump and press R and see that I ragdoll perfectly fine just go down take for the delay and then I'm up and it's perfectly fine um, so yeah that is the R6 ragdoll like I said looks perfectly fine there's no jittering or anything like that and it looks cool so yeah that's R6 now R15 I'm going to go to the game settings and change the avatar R15 now let's look at what the R15 ragdoll looks like so R15 just gonna go to the top here again like once again ragdoll boom perfectly fine no jittering or anything like that pretty cool pretty cool slide down and you can just keep spamming this every time you get up come back and yeah it's a good ragdoll kind of like it um, yeah let me know if you have any questions on how to use this or anything like that um, the ragdoll module is going to be in the description um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this helped peace